This is JT, welcome to Body Weight Strength, the channel where I teach you how to build serious lean mass and strength utilizing only your body for resistance. And when you first start training with calisthenics, um, what you need to procure early on is something to hang from. And the reason for that is that we are great apes by body structure. That means that we are meant to pull and we're meant to climb. And we lose strength throughout that pulling and climbing uh, motion because we simply just don't do it uh, anymore, right? Technology does all of our work for us. We're not trying to climb walls, climb trees, escape from, from predators. Uh, so most of us don't have that ability anymore and we need to reestablish that, especially for um, people who early on in their training, whether it's going to a gym or in calisthenics, uh, spend a lot of time pressing, whether it's push-ups, bench press, or whatever the case may be, but they're building those pressing muscles without offsetting that by building the pulling musculature. You always wanna train in a balanced manner, and that's the reason why you need to acquire something to hang from early on. Now, you can get a pull-up um, bar that goes into a doorway, and those are really portable, and uh, those can be great, but for a, for a solid one, you're spending 30 or $40, and you're limited, um, because most people's doorways are only so tall, and so it does kind of limit what you can do eventually. And so I was looking for a cost-effective option. Um, the power rack that I have by Titan Fitness inside my house is up to like 400 and something dollars now, and it's an amazing setup. Um, it's the T3 by Titan Fitness. If you want a rack that's going to last forever, with regards to eventually heavy weight training and everything, it's great. But it's priced out of a lot of budgets at 400 and something dollars. So with that being said, I found Cap Strength makes a squat stand with a pull-up bar, and uh, it was $99 normally on Amazon. I picked it up for $89. I'm not sponsored by these guys. I bought it myself. Um, so that I would have something in the backyard. And so, um, as you can see, I put it together. It took an hour and a half with my four-year-old helping me. If you don't have a four-year-old, it's probably gonna take you 45 minutes. Uh, so it's, it's really simple to put together. You don't need tools. It comes with a, a hex key, and it comes with like a little custom wrench. And that's the only things you'll need to put it together. So don't be intimidated by assembly or the amount of time it's gonna take or the size, it's 85 inches tall, so you could put this thing indoors in a lot of houses. Um, you could put it outside, obviously, but it doesn't take up a lot of space even on the base. Um, I'll post the dimensions and the link for it if you guys wanna check it out. And uh, let me get to doing a little demonstration on it so you can see um, what it looks like put to the test. Okay, I wanna give you a side view of the unit so you can see how stable it is as I get on here and I do some pull-ups, uh, some hanging leg raises, <clears throat> and a front lever. And so, at this angle, if there's any play in this, as I'm going through these, you're going to see it. So we'll start with a pull-up. As you can see, nice and stable. Uh, from there, we'll go with the front lever. Nice and stable. And then last, I'll do hanging leg raise. And for the hanging leg raise, the uh, reason I'm doing it last and taking a little bit of time with it is that's the one movement where I think you could get into some trouble. If you are doing it very sloppily and you're flailing all over the place, then this thing is going to be giving you some play, some movement. And I've seen some videos of people doing hanging leg raises on Instagram recently, and it was like a CrossFit uh, box. And there's nothing wrong with CrossFit. I think it could be a great medium, so I don't mean to bag on CrossFit, but it's just these individuals. They were in a passive hang, which is no shoulder engagement, and they're like swinging like crazy to get their feet to the bar. So number one, that's just gonna increase your likelihood to get injured. And number two, it's not your muscles getting you to the bar, it's literally momentum, which is absolutely pointless. So I'm pretty sure nobody's trying to grow their momentum muscle, you know, or strengthen their momentum muscle, right? So let's use muscular tension and strength to get our toes to the bar eventually, not momentum. So what you want to do is you want to have an active hang, right? Engage the scapula and then curl up. That's going to be knees up or you're straight legged. If you want to go all the way toes to bar, still straight leg. Okay. And the unit's still stable. The only time I think you're going to maybe want to upgrade the unit is if you start getting into bar muscle ups, and in a bar muscle up, what happens is you're gonna be pulling up and back and the body kind of concaves, you're, you're hollow bodied up around the pole and it does put some pull this way on the pole where everything else we're doing 
it's all downward pressure above the mast, which is the way that the unit's designed. So that doesn't mean you gotta buy a new unit for a bar muscle up, but what it does mean is you probably wanna weight the back end, either bolting it to the ground, or if that's not an option, you can put some 45 pound plates, however many you need to offset your body weight on the other side of the rack. So if you threw 445s on there and you put 200 pounds at the bottom of this thing, it's not going anywhere. And you're gonna be able to get aggressive with those bar muscle ups and this unit will last you as long as you need. So that's my only caveat for this thing would be versus like a, like a full cage would be um, that when you do get to bar muscle ups, you're probably gonna want to weight the other side. And um, with that being said, that's gonna be the $99 unit from Cap Strength. I'll have a link below the video. There's a very similar unit from Titan Fitness, but it's three times the price. So um, that's the main reason why I'm suggesting this where a majority of my other equipment that I've bought in the past has come from Titan. I think from a value standpoint, this is gonna fit way more easily into way more budgets. And, uh, and so that's my initial review on this. I will update you guys once I've had this for a few months and I've actually trained aggressively on it and we can see how it holds up over time. Um, but for now, I, I like the unit. I'm happy with the purchase. Uh, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and also click the notification bell so that when I do make videos, you're notified um, because YouTube doesn't show you everything you're subscribed to. So you could be subscribed to the channel and I can make multiple videos and you may only see one out of four or whatever. So if you wanna make sure you don't miss anything, subscribe, click the notification bell, and thank you for supporting Bodyweight Strength.